Well, sugar is a master of disguise, and just because you don't see it listed on an ingredient list doesn't mean it's not hiding in there. In fact, there are 56 different names for sugar. So let's get into it. While processed foods are super convenient, oftentimes they can be full of added sugar and sweeteners. From your average jarred marinara sauce to your go-to granola bar, added sugars are almost impossible to escape today. Worse yet, some of these sugars are hidden with funny names in the ingredient list. Sugar in and of itself isn't bad for us, but too much certainly is. So let's start with this question. Why are added sugars bad for us? Excess sugar can cause weight gain, and it doesn't give us that same level of satisfaction or feeling of fullness like other nutrients do. And this can inhibit our hunger cues, leading us to eat more than necessary. And we know that obesity is a major contributor to many chronic illnesses, like heart disease, type two diabetes, and many cancers. When we eat too much sugar, our body stores it as triglycerides or a storage form of fat. And when triglyceride levels are too high in our body, it can lead to hardening of the arteries and increase our risk for heart disease. Having too much sugar can alter your resistance to insulin, which is a hormone that regulates blood sugar and plays a role in type 2 diabetes. These added sugars are found in more packaged foods than most people think. Most of us know names like high fructose corn syrup, fructose, and sugar, but some can be misleading and even sound healthy. Take brown rice syrup, for example. It's the first ingredient in a popular protein bar marketed as healthy. Be on the lookout for names that end in O-S-E or O-S, and also items labeled as syrup, nectar, or juice. You'll wanna see these listed towards the bottom of the ingredient list, which indicates a lesser amount of that ingredient. It's important to note that sugar is sugar, and these various forms affect our bodies similarly, regardless where they were extracted from. So. When fiber and nutrients are removed to create sugar from various plants, only the sweet part and very minimal nutrients are left. Here are a couple of names to be mindful of. Since all this extra sugar is bad, are non-nutritive sweeteners a healthier option? The short answer is no. They may be calorie free, but they trigger some of the same effects as sugar does in our brain. Your brain identifies sweetness through taste receptors on your tongue. Sugar triggers this receptor, and because non-nutritive sweeteners are similar enough to sugar, they also trigger this receptor. Some research suggests that artificial sweeteners are not as rewarding to our brain as regular sugar is and causes us to crave more sweetness later on. Non-nutritive sweeteners are also much sweeter than their sugar counterparts, some that are over 20,000 times sweeter than sugar. Take sucralose, for example, or Splenda, as you may have seen it. It is 600 times sweeter than sugar, so you have to make sure not to use as much as you would with regular sugar. Non-nutritive sweeteners may be a temporary solution for weight control, but the best thing you can do is try to reduce the amount of added sugar in your diet overall. Choose water over sweetened beverages and pick an apple when that sweet tooth kicks in. And finally, just allow yourself to indulge once in a while.